the most common question I'm asked by MDS patients is, Doc, how, do I, how did I get this disease? I never knew what is MDS. I can't even pronounce myelodysplastic syndromes. In fact, some of my patients say that MDS stands for my disease stinks. So many of my patients will tell me that, but I've led such a healthy lifestyle. I've never been sick in my life. How did I get MDS? What is this disease? It's a bone marrow disease, and the bone marrow is an organ in our body whose job is to make blood cells. The bone marrow makes about a trillion cells every 24 hours. These are red cells, white cells, platelets. Interestingly, these billions and billions of cells are being made by very few parent cells that we call stem cells in the bone marrow. With age, we use up a number of healthy stem cells and chances are that we can recruit into cycle a slightly decrepit abnormal stem cell and that we call now the MDS stem cell. So what happens is that now the MDS stem cell is dividing faster than the normal stem cells which essentially go to sleep and all the cells in the blood are being descended from this transformed parent MDS stem cell now. It's making lots of cells and they are also able to reach the terminal stages of maturation but many of them die prematurely in the marrow before they can reach the blood. So the blood counts begin to fall and that is how patients present. The most common form of lowered blood count is anemia. 80 to 85 percent patients with MDS would be an elderly individual who is going to present with anemia. Secondly, MDS really can be divided into two types, lower risk and higher risk. Risk of what? Risk of developing acute myeloid leukemia is either low or high. So two-thirds of the patients at diagnosis will have lower risk disease and a third of the patients will have higher risk disease. Patients with lower risk disease can live for many, many years. I have many patients living between 10 and 20 years. Uh, but they do require a lot of supportive care measures, such as transfusions with uh, blood, with platelets. If they become, if they receive many transfusions, then they become iron overloaded. So we have to start trying to remove the iron from the body. So in summary, MDS are bone marrow malignancies which predominate in an elderly population. As our population is aging, these are becoming more common. Two-thirds of these patients can live for long periods of time but with severely compromised lifestyles because of the profound anemia that, uh, and other lowering of blood counts that they suffer from.